forgot. Let's let you forget. Never mind. Hi, people. Hi. It's the gym. And Dave. I didn't forget. <laughs> Beer <laughs> review. <laughs> Let's do this over again, dude. That's no, that's no, fine. No, okay. Roll through it. All right. All right. Here we go. Uh, we have today. So let's go ahead and beer companies. Da da da. Sweet. 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 So sweet. sweet. Get it? You, you got it? I don't even know like we have us being blocked here by a big giant beer. You were out right. there. Right. Sure big giant people. We're sure you want to see the label <laughs> that badly. And plus, it makes us look smaller in comparison. We really need help. So, Susquehanna has a saying. They say, people beer by beer people. Nope. Now, is this a second breakfast? Is this with beer? It's a Bavarian tradition we don't mind adopting. And we've brewed up a classic unfiltered heifer reason. If I'm, saying, if I'm saying that wrong, let me know. Bless I have no you. idea about the pronunciation. It sounded like you were Just for the occasion. Heifer now, reason. This beer is naturally hazy, by the way. And it's a thirst quencher that is crafted with top-notch quality wheat. And specialized top fermenting yeast, giving it a perfect thick foamy head. <laughs> the signature citrus, banana, and spicy clove flavor combination makes this a true Bavarian style half e heef for your late morning and all day long drinking pleasure. Crisp, golden, refreshing, and deliciously opaque. Heffy. Oh, it is so wheat. Oh, heffy. Heffy? Heffy. I think that's what they call the 5.2 ABV, 14 IBUs. Am I not picking your nose on the Jim and Dave beer review? I, I didn't have a... No, it's, just my, it's itchy. I didn't pick. Yeah. Watch the video. I didn't pick anything. Don't scratch your ass either. <laughs> All right, Dave. Here you go. Yeah. We're going to do halfers on this. Well, that's right, because we're doing something different today. People. Yes. We've already reviewed one, but we're going to make our own. There you go, Oscar. All right, Dave. Let's take a look at the color. Brown filtered, it looks like there's a heck of, it looks pretty clear. Tiny bubbles. Tiny bubbles? Smells like wheat. Smells like a huffy weasel. Ooh. Ooh. I don't like wheat beers. Fair warning. Well, you really sample that flavor in a very uh, slow, considerate manner. Kind of has a banana bread kind of thing going on here. Has a wheat character. Not a big fan. That wasn't whiskey. <laughs> That's the way I drink my whiskey. Um, oh no, it's a giant cat! Ah, Pop! <laughs> well, this is such. We are such professionals. <laughs> That's why we got twelve viewers. He's talking something different. He's picking his nose, and that big cat comes in the way. <laughs> That's why we got twelve viewers. Over three hundred videos and twelve viewers. Because that's what people want to see is a couple middle-aged, overweight white guys <laughs> talking about beer. <laughs> With cats. With cats. <laughs> Tune in for the cats, if nothing else. Dave, yeah, what's your that's the only reason I watched What's your thoughts videos? on the flavor? It was okay. Give it a number. Six. Yeah, I'm not a big wheat guy. I think this is one of the better I'm wheat beers. I'm going backwards. The other one was 6.5. This is a six. I'm going backwards. Yeah, but we'll make it better in a second. Oh, because we're putting something else into our concoction. Right. Uh, I'm not a big wheat guy. I'll probably give this a, a 6 too, maybe 5.5. Um, understanding I don't like wheat. If you like wheat beers, you'll probably like this. That's all I can say. Uh, I'll drink this beer. I'd rather it be in a variety pack if I'm going to buy it. I don't know if I buy a whole case of it. Now, dun, we, dun, dun. we did the Shady Spot, which I think I called Shandy Spot. I apologize for that. But that was a Shandy. Shandy. That was half lemonade. Now, as I learned from our good friends at King of Prussia Beer Outlet, Matt came up with a bunch of uh, beer mixes. And I would have never done this, but we are going to mix a wheat beer with lemonade. Now, Matt encourages you, of course, to make your lemonade fresh. It'll make for a better drink. But for the purposes of this, we're using some uh, pre-made lemonade. And we're going to do half and half. So we are making... That's it, Dave. Call the cat over and get in front of the camera. Yeah, I want to have to get down. That's okay. Unless well, she wasn't blocking the camera, that's fine. She wasn't. So, again, we're making a homemade shandy. So, if you have a wheat beer, you're not crazy about it, you can add lemonade. Dave, I never would have, in all my years, ever thought about putting lemonade in the beer or anything else for that matter. So, this is a. I put, I put whiskey in my beer. Well, I've had a sake bomb too, but that's a little different. Not lemonade. So, again, homemade shandy with a wheat beer. You can use any wheat beer. I guess you can use any lemonade. But let's see how it goes. Cheers. Trusting him here. So this is a two and one. Mm. 
Mm. That tastes more like lemonade than beer now. Well, it tastes like a shandy now. No, that doesn't taste like a shandy. I did half lemonade, half uh, That didn't beer. taste like a shandy. This doesn't taste like the last one? Nope. No, I like the it. The other one was stronger. Oh, that was meant to be. That was uh, brewed that way. Yeah. It tasted a whole lot different. Well, this is, this was, I tried to do 50 Maybe 50. I need to stir it with my pinky. Yeah, why don't you do that? Here, give it a little stir. Maybe it's more lemonade on the top. Ooh, sorry. Cheers. I've been again. wheezing. I like it. Mm. I think that's vastly improved. It's a lemonade with beer in it. It's a beer with lemonade in it. It's a beer. You got your chocolate in my peanut butter. <laughs> you got your peanut butter on my chocolate. That is okay. It just tastes more like lemonade than does beer. The other well, one tastes like beer. This one tastes like lemonade. This one tastes like a lemonade beer to me. Maybe you should have put less lemonade in it. Well, I thought 50 50 was a good mix. I didn't think 50 50 was too much. Okay. Because when you make a beer, you get the hops, the grains, and then you put, put half a lemonade in it. No, you put like, you know, it's going to be like a, a two to one ratio. Fair enough. Well, there you have it. Two opinions. I personally would, with this mix, I'll bring this up to a seven now. I would bring this down to a 5.5 now. Oh, ah, there you have it. This is why we have two opinions on the Jim Day Beer Review. One of them will be closely related to your own, we hope. One will but be. listen, the reason we do different beer mixes is because we believe that you should drink... So you don't have to. Great beers. And <laughs> we started up tonight. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's do the certain general warnings. Pregnant women should not drink alcohol due to the risk of birth defects. Drinking alcohol can impair your ability to operate heavy machinery and drive a car and cause health problems. You did that in the last one, you know. We did. You did? No, I, I stated it a little differently. You did? I did. I don't remember it. Well, don't bring it I'm up while we're on camera. I can do it. And the reason we try weak beers, even though we don't like them, and do a lot of stuff is we believe that you should drink great beers. And have your laugh with friends. Right. No matter how ironically they may be. <laughs> I'm talking about me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You're not an adult. You're what? <laughs> I'm an adult. I say I'm that. an adult. What? You're an uh, yeah. You're an adult. adult. <laughs> he's over twenty-one, so he's adult. Mm -hmm. Thunderhead, as they say in Germany. Half uh, and weaving, goddamn you! Uh, if you're under twenty-one, don't watch this. And if you and if you do watch it, tape it and show it to your friends at school. Yes, like, <laughs> comment, follow, subscribe. Especially your young girls. Bye. 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 Thank you. I didn't get to edit that part out. <laughs> Bye, Dave.